Do you think that the Thank market you. has this right when it comes to China being a swing factor now when it comes to oil demand? Well, China is definitely one of the biggest. Uh, its economy is as large as the U.S., if not larger, and it does need a lot of energy. It, cons it consumes a different uh, variety, though. It uh, doesn't depend entirely on oil. It uses a lot of gas, a lot of coal, a lot of nuclear. Yeah, but uh, China is uh, is in uh, will be in trouble if it can't get the volumes that it requires, and it will be uh, continuing to buy, I believe, a lot of Russian oil and gas just for that reason. So, what do you make of look? The the, the market went even lower. Just around the top of the hour, we had a Financial Times report that the ceasefire negotiations are ongoing between Russia and Ukraine, that Russia is perhaps giving some ground here when it comes to calling for denazification of Ukraine, oil prices moving lower. Well, if we actually, and, and Kayla reminded us, we have to take it with a grain of salt, we don't know Putin's intentions, but if we did get some sort of ceasefire, what would happen to the price of oil? Well, look, it's been so high, it's got a scarcity of supply and a security of supply premiums that if we could settle it down, at least as far as the conflict, uh, then we would have to go back and try to source out enough oil for the global economy to continue to grow. Because just before this broke out, this conflict, we were very short already. I mean, we hadn't had investments for a long time, uh, in part because of the low price of shale oil and in part because of the pandemic. So we would be right back there, uh, still $100, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure. Uh, the rest of the year, uh, we will have to see what happens, as you say, with the conflict, because Russia itself uh, needs to get its production back up. It's been uh, running a little bit below its uh, historical levels, more like 10 and a half instead of 11 and a half. So everybody's got to be uh, confident that uh, we're out of the uh, conflict and can start investing again. Well, it's down now more than 9 percent. Energy stocks down 3 percent. Sadat al-Husseini, sorry to, to keep it brief. We appreciate the analysis.